Morning everyone, it's Monday. I thought I'd do a weekly vlog. I was going to do this last week, but then I got ill. So nothing happened. <coughs> really annoying because I had a good sales week ish. Um, so yeah, we got back from holiday on, on Friday. And Sunday, Paul fell downstairs and broke his ankle. So he's had surgery and he's home. But of course, I'm running around doing everything and I'm absolutely shattered. So I think. I haven't been right since I went back to work, to be honest. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you this weekend's sales very quick. So here we have got a box. This is one camera, a compute game, and six items of clothing. Um, let's go on for today. I normally do my postage on Saturday, but I was too poorly, so I didn't. So, it's very grey today, but it's still muggy. Gonna get Jennifer, and we're gonna head off to work and nursery. So we made it to nursery. Yeah, so I've got, had eight sales, nothing major, no, nothing really high value. I mean, after June's £129 sale of that lens, it's hard to beat, so. But things are ticking over nicely. I just haven't got time to do anything with Paul laid up with his ankle. I've got some cameras that I could list. They've been battery tested. Um, I just got him photographed. So if she does have a nap this afternoon, if after I've been to the post office, I might might try and get those listed. Mm. I'm so tired. Anyway, it's Monday, like I said. I made it to the office. I just got to get Jennifer into nursery. Go and do the day job. And then we'll see what happens this afternoon. Okay, it's now five past eight in the evening. Work was okay, it went really quite quick. I posted my eight items. It was a new woman in the post office. She's been there a while, but she's, I don't think she knows what she's doing because the computer game that should have gone as a large letter, she put through as a small parcel and it wasn't heavy. And then there was a small top, which should have gone through as a large letter that she put through as a normal second class letter. Just a second class stamp, so I don't know what she was doing, but there you go, not my problem. Um, anyway, at least it got done. I spent nearly £17 on postage on those eight items, but that's what it is, got to send them. Like I said, one day when she goes to school, I might use Hermes or something like that. It's just, at the moment, the Hermes drop-off point is worse than going to the post office because there's nowhere really to park, it's in a residential area. So I'd have to possibly drop her off my mum's and then walk to it carrying the parcels or I'd have to go there get her out of the car get the stuff go in get her back and it's just a nightmare so it's just easier to use post office at the moment not that I'm discounting using Hermes at all at some point so today I've had two sales which is nice because as I said to my line manager I was ill last week and I haven't done any work on eBay but the sales still coming in I still haven't done much work on eBay I will be putting some auctions up later but I sold one top which is um a cerise yeah, pink top by a brand called Soon. I do believe it is a catalogue brand. I was not something I would buy again. I got two, two of them. I got a pink one, this one, and a green one, and they were on the three for a pound rail. And I only sold it for a fiver. But when it's thirty-three p into five pound plus postage, and that will go as a large letter. That you know can't complain and the other thing came through a bit earlier and it's another one of these pentax cameras i bought at carry boot sale i think i've sold four of them now out of the nine i've listed which is great um and it's the spo 5 115m and that went for 21 pounds something plus shipping so i'm in profit on those cameras now over 20 pounds in profit um which is great i'm happy with that i did have somebody ask a question about how much i could do a discount on them if they bought four and this person was in China. They're not a seller. They've got no items listed. So I, I did have a quick look at them. And I said I could do the four for £60. Because four were at 20 and one was at 25 And that's knocking a fiver or, or just over a fiver on one of them off. And, um, yeah, so three of them were at £21 something. And, and one was at 25 something. So I said I'd knock, a, knock just over a fiver off of each. But I haven't heard anything back. I think this might have been one of the ones that they were after. So, um, yeah, it's gone now. So... You snooze, you lose. So I'm happy with that. So that's another sale. Like I said, I'm not worried if that person doesn't buy them because I know they will sell at some point. So now I'm going to take these down, ready to package up and do labels, ready for tomorrow, because I will post them tomorrow when I go to my usual sourcing location. 
mostly for clothes. I've picked up a few other bits and pieces. Um, it does come with a case. There is a case for it as well. Um, all of them had cases. And I'll post that off and then go to my mum's. And then Dad's coming up tomorrow to put the paddling pool up. So if that happens, I'll show you it. We might have a paddle. It's supposed to be very hot over the next few days. I have booked Wednesday off. So I only go to work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. It's nice to have a day off in the week. What am I going to be doing? Who knows? Obviously looking after Paul and Jennifer. Um, paddling pool if it's very hot. I might try and do a bit of work. I want to get another five cameras photographed and listed. As well as the Sketchograph thing I bought at the jumble sale. And the Bop It Smash. I've got some drafting to do and I can get some clothes listed tomorrow. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm I'm into profit for the month. Not huge. But I mean I'm happy with what I'm doing. It's ticking over. I'm not losing money. And to me that's the main thing. Obviously if I was losing money I wouldn't be very happy. But the only month I didn't make a profit in was November. And that's because I spent £160 at the auction. Or 100 and something at the auction. 120, something like that anyway. I bought all that stuff at Cardiff City Auctions. And I'm in profit on that now, so... And I was in profit overall through the end of the year. So, I'm not losing money. I am making money, and most of what I'm making, I'm saving. So, what I tend to do is, when I transfer money from my PayPal account, I put £40 in an online saving account, which is for if I have to pay tax and for national insurance, which I will have to pay. Um, there's also money in there for... Uh, anything else so once I've done my tax return which we're going to do this weekend I hope and it tells me that you don't have to pay tax but you have to pay this amount of national insurance so I'll get that paid off um, and then I might have a look because I want to buy a shed for the garden for Jennifer's toys and I could also put some of my stock out there so it'd be sort of like a dual thing and have my all my packing supplies out there because they just get in the way we're hoping to do our living room up soon and then so it's for stuff like that, and then what's left, you know, after I've bought the shed, and there'll be stock, and I can use it for stock. And I put, leave £30 in my bank account, that usually covers most of my postage, not all of it for the month, but most of it. I'm like, yes, yeah, so I spent £17. And I put £30 into my ISA, and that's for major emergencies, so I'm saving that if I need a new car, or something like that. So we've both got one. I, I mean, I, I've got to be honest, I've been really good with my ISA this year. I started this year um, with only £220 in the ISA because I took out money to pay for the cameras at auction. And it's up to, like, nearly 800 now. So I'm never going to hit the ISA limit. I don't earn enough to hit the ISA limit. But I'm putting in more money than I ever have, and I'm not spending it. And I also, I don't know if you know this, save all my change. I save all my 1s, 2s, 5s, 10s, 20s and 50s and two pound coins and I also save three one pound coins a month a week not a month um, because when the national lottery used to be a pound I never used to do it and it used to only be Monday uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays so I started putting in a pound every Wednesday and Saturday I just didn't up it when they changed it to two pound or whatever it is now because so don't do it anyway I just left it because that's what it was and I also started saving one pound a week a few years ago when it, when the 1st of January was Wednesday so Wednesday to put two pound in and I put a pound in on a Saturday and I also put a pound in Jennifer's pot she's got quite a nice little savings mounting up um, her dad pays money into a bank account every month when he gets paid and um, her grandparents give her a pound each every week well my mum and dad give her two pounds a week I put a pound in every week and it mounts up and it goes into a little money box and then when I need pound coins, which I don't at the moment because I've got plenty of them, I just take 20 out of her money box and transfer £20 into her, child, her junior ISA, which she can't access till she's 18. So I'm hoping she'll have a nice amount in there when she turns 18. That's it for Monday. I am now going to go and have a shower before I pack up my two sale items. Anything else that comes in now will wait till Thursday's post. Or possibly, I might I might go down Wednesday as I'm off. I might walk down if I feel up to it. I'm still a bit, bit wheezy. I am exhausted. I did have a sleep this afternoon. I was going to do photoing, but yeah, I needed to sleep. So photoing didn't get done. So never mind. That's a job for another day. Possibly Wednesday. Just trying to think. Cause tomorrow, I'm working, post office, tat sale. I call it the tat sale chips 
we always have chips on Tuesday with my mum and dad. Paul's got food, sorted him out his lunch. For tomorrow he knows what to have. And then dad will come back with me, put up the paddling pool, fill it with water, and then we might go and have a paddle. We might do. It'd be nice. Nice to have to go and paddle. Flesh is going to be hot over the next few days, be using it a lot. Can't stand the heat. I'm terrible with the heat. I'm melting now. That's five minutes of absolute nonsense rambling almost. So yeah, because I'm sitting down thinking. And once I've had my shower and done my packing and put Jennifer to bed, I can have a glass of wine. So, because last week I bought a bottle of wine from Spa and it was, I think it was Blossom Hill. And it was blackberry and raspberry flavoured. Oh my God, it was like drinking squash. It was like, you know, like the Copperberg ciders and that. So today I bought Echo Falls and it's a strawberry and lime rosé so i'm looking forward to giving that a try so i don't spend money on much things these days for myself because i just don't got time to do um like reading and coloring which i still like to do but i just don't get the time at the moment so i thought i'd buy myself a bottle of wine and it'll last me a week you know i won't buy another one until either the weekend or next week because i only have one glass tonight paul might have a glass with me tonight I better go before I just ramble you all to death and you'll be so bored. So that's it for Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll carry on with the vlog then. Bye. Morning. It is now Tuesday. 22nd, I think. Something like that. We're at nursery, aren't we, babe? She's a funny girl. She's like a dog we used to have. I don't mean that in a derogatory manner, in the sense that every time you stop at the traffic lights and there's a patch of green, she cries. As you say, get me out. My mum had a dog that did that. Every time you'd stop for any reason, if she could see a grass, she thought it was time to get out and, and play on the grass. She's kind of like that. Every time you stop, she wants to get out. So, I've got to do today. I've got tomorrow off. Yay, we're going to have a nice lie in. going to try and do some eBay work, play with Jennifer in the garden. It is currently quarter to eight and it is 18 degrees which isn't that hot for some people but for me it's already warm and it's forecast to get up at 29 30 today i don't like the heat i'm not very good in the heat i blister i get prickly heat rash which is why i've got a shirt on because i get it on my arms saying that though if we get the paddling pool up and it's hot i'll be donning the sun lotion and going in it with jennifer this afternoon um, after I've been to the post office and my tat sale, might get a few things. Most of the stuff I pick up there is 50p, 33p, so it's fine. So yeah, two sales. I was very happy with those two sales yesterday. Those cameras are going really, really, really well. So I think that I will be buying more cameras to sell. The lot I looked at at Cardiff City Auction, which I was tempted to buy, went for £50. And there's quite some old stuff in there, including some old Kodak development tanks. So definitely worth that sort of, you know, it wasn't overpriced, I don't think, for it. You would have got your money back easy on it. It's just at the moment I got nowhere to store it. So we need to get the house sorted and the garage shed thing sorted. Anyway, I'm going to get Jennifer out now because she's going to start kicking off any minute. And we're going to go to nursery and do my day's work. And I'll catch up with you maybe later on. Well, I will catch up with you later on. See, so, fingers crossed we have some sales today. Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Oh, it's getting on for 20 to 9. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah, I haven't done much today this afternoon. Well, I have, but it's not been anything exciting. And my battery was dying, so. Posted my items. I bought three items at Tat Sale. One's a dress by uh, Voodoo Vixen, which is really nice. It's not like a vintage style 40s tea dress type thing, uh, which I might show you tomorrow when I can be bothered. And then went to Mum's and had some lunch, and then came back with my dad because he put the paddling pool up, and that took bloody ages to do. And then when it was up, it took us ages to fill. It was five before he left. And I've been out in the sun all that time. Well, on and off, I kept coming in, but I've still, you can't really see it, but I've caught the sun. It's very red. I'm very itchy again and blotchy. I really hate this weather. Um, but the pattern pulls up, it's got water in it. So our garden's on a slight slant, so we've got like a shallow end, which is quite sweet. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow, me and Jennifer will be going in it, because hopefully it'll be a little bit warm from the sun. It won't be freezing cold. And uh, yeah, we'll be slathering on the factor 50. 
I have actually had two sales today. What a top, which sold for. How much did it sell for? Eight quid, I think, or six quid, eight ninety nine with shipping. I'm not sure. It's only a small top. And one of Paul's, the last Paul's Airfix models. Those will be posted on Thursday because I'm, although I'm off tomorrow, I am not going down the shop. I only plan on going into the paddling pool and I plan on having a lie in. I, I haven't, when it's hot like this and because I'm running around after Paul a lot, I normally have a nap in the afternoon because my dad was here doing the thing, paddling pool. I didn't get one. That's a puzzle. So usually it's because Paul has a doze. Jenna has to sleep. And I don't want to wait, so I come up, watch a bit of TV and fall asleep. So I didn't do that today. So I'm going to dry my hair, go down and get Jennifer some milk and bring it, get her ready for bed, bring her to bed, have a glass of wine and then go to sleep and hopefully have a good night's sleep and then get up tomorrow. Currently watching Nick and Andrea Hills uh, on their channel. Watching their boot sale video, selling the boot sale, we'll see how much they made. We'll probably be doing boot sales next year, so uh, if I do, I will take you with me. Um, so basically, that will be any stock that's sticky and hasn't sold, anything I can pick up from the auction that I think might go well at on eBay, anything that you know, because they sell job lots, there's some really good job lots, so you get some great stuff to sell on eBay, but also some stuff that maybe you should sell, you could sell at a boot sale. Plus uh, Jennifer's old clothes and maybe some of her toys, some of our DVDs, books, CDs that we don't want. We'll go through them all. We do that every now and again. Just go through things, say we don't want that, and we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. <coughs> I'll probably get rid of some of my clothes as well. More to get rid of junk, but we will see if we can get any what money. What money we make will probably um, either go into Jennifer's ISA for her. Or it'll go into the business. It really depends if it's, you know, can't really keep a track on what's personal and what's business just because it's going to be mishmash. But it's more about like, trying to get rid of a load of junk from the house, and then eventually we'll just do business boot sales. I'm going to go. It's so hot. It was when we came back from Dad's this afternoon. The temperature in the car read 31 and a half degrees. Whether it was that hot, I don't know, but that's what it was saying. It was when we were in the car. So it was very hot. I don't do hot. I will admit I am a winter person. I love autumn and I like spring. I'm not good at heat and I do like winter. I like cold, crisp, frosty mornings when the sun's out and it's really frosty. Love it. Anyway, I'm going to start coughing. So I will leave it there for tonight. I will see you tomorrow, which tomorrow is Wednesday. That's okay, tons so of stuff to do, up. and I'm just exhausted from this heat. Uh, so, so quite a lot of clothing off here. Um, See you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah. Here we go. It's Wednesday. This is my paddling pool. I'm going to get in it. Jennifer's hopefully having a sleep. Paul's got the um. Oh, it's nice and cold, Shona. Oh, it's lush. It's not too cold. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, it feels really good. I got a, I got my Coke and I've got a book. And that's all I need. I should be fine with that for a, about an hour. Yeah, got my sun lotion on. Got a, got a top on my shoulders because otherwise I'll burn and I burned yesterday as it was. Right. We did. I, I, was, I was asleep and it woke me up. So yeah, I'm sitting in the water now. It's quite nice. It's not too cold. It's not hot. <coughs> oh, I'm on a slant. We've got a kind of little shallow end. We've got a ball here. Paul's going to ring me if Jennifer wakes up and wants to come in. Well, I'll come and get her and I'm just going to sit and read for a bit. I've had four sales since yesterday. Two items of clothing. One of Paul's um, Airfix models, the last one. Yeah, I don't think he's got much left of his stuff to go and a camera case i've already pulled them brought them down ready so hopefully i will get them well i will get them packed up ready for tomorrow it's gonna to be hotter tomorrow so i'll probably end up coming back in the pool with jennifer tomorrow afternoon if she doesn't go to sleep i might even put some more cold water in it because it's quite warm it's quite nice heated by the old uh sand so i'm gonna chill for an hour and read my book 
You have to sort Paul out before he goes to hospital. Oh, it's nice. Morning, it's Thursday, whatever, 24th, I think, of July. We're at nursery. It is 21 degrees and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. And that's, I think, a centigrade. I think um, 20, 21. It's, it's going to be hot this afternoon. Um, just, just getting up to near, near enough 30, which kills me. I hate the heat. I'm not a summer person. I'm a winter person. Autumn and winter. Um, it's going to be cooler over the weekend, which is great. It's down to this temperature, 21, 22, 23, during the day, which I can cope with. I can live with that. I don't mind that. That's about my limit. Um, it's just, it's not so much the heat, it's the humidity we get in the UK. We always get a very wet heat, not a dry heat. If it was a dry heat, I'd be fine. And the fact that I burn, so I, even in the, I have to wear long sleeves, otherwise my arms come out in all blisters. So the plan for today, do my four hours, well, four and a half hours, go to the tat sale, go to the post office, because I've got four items to post. A top, a skirt, the top sold for for like five or six quid the skirt sold for 12 there's an airfix model that sold for 11 that's one of Paul's and a camera bag that's old for a fiver but it doesn't owe me any money and I'm glad it's gone it's out of my way so I'm doing less listings I've got stuff drafted ready it'll take me like two minutes on each one to get them up and running and I've just been lazy but I might do it tonight let's see let's hope we get some sales during the day even one makes me happy Next posting day will be Saturday morning because Paul will need a prescription filled, so I might as well go and do two things at the same time. Gonna go work. One of the girls is bringing nice ice lollies later, so yay. Nice one, kid. Thank you. And I will see you all once I've finished work and get home, I imagine. Morning, it's Friday the 26th of July. I thought it was 24th, yes, it was 25th. 26th day. Yes, it was a write off. It was just too hot to do anything. I went home. After posting everything, and um, Jennifer went straight to sleep. She was there because I had a quick doze after some lunch. Didn't do very much at all today. It was just too hot. It is about 19 and a half already. It's about 10 to 8. It's supposed to be a bit cooler today. It's overcast, very grey. Um, but, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I did get five listings out, which I'm pleased with. So, Yeah. And yesterday was my first non-sale day in a week, so I guess that's that run over with. But never mind, hopefully we'll get some more sales soon. Anyway, going to get Jennifer into nursery and go to work. Okay, so it's gone nine. I'm just putting Jennifer to bed. It's a late one tonight. Um, shattered, it's still very warm. Uh, after a no-sale day yesterday, I did have two sales today. I saw this developing tank, which has got two reels in it. It's basically a complete kit. And another one of these Pentax cameras has gone. This one's gone for £14 plus shipping. So happy with that. I haven't done any listing today. I'm probably not going to now because it's a bit late. I'm just going to have a glass of wine and chill out. Part of the reason was we had garden clearance people come around today to uh, clear out the garden. So that's done. So I'll show you it tomorrow when I put some air in the paddling pool because we've lost a bit of air to let all the water out and I refill it and I'll, I'll show you the garden. Oh, needs a lot of work still but uh, yeah. So I'm happy with those two sales. Nothing major but better than nothing. Better than yesterday anyway. So I'm going to say goodnight to Jen and uh, let her get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow which will be Saturday. I'm very tired. Night all. Morning, it's Saturday. Um, Jennifer got me up at six o'clock. Joys, and um, yeah, I've got a bit of a headache from the heat, sinusitis, which I suffer from. Uh, and I, I don't know if you can hear me wheezing a bit, but I'll take my out yes to me in a bit. I'm going to lie down, like I said, she got me up at six. It's now about half twelve. <laughs> I've been up here for an hour and she's still asleep so I'm taking advantage of it. There won't be a lot happening today. I'm going to try and get Paul outside later and I'll show you the, the garden. And um, I've had another sale. Um, I'm doing a top for tenner but it, it's money in, it doesn't owe me anything, none of my stock owes me any money. At the moment I'm 
all in profit, so I, I don't care. I mean, as long as I'm not selling stuff for one or two pounds. I also had a bid on something in the night, so that's another one when it ends. So I was going to go to the post office today, but because I'm feeling rough, I, I won't be. So I'll check in with you later when I take Paul out into the garden. So this is the back yard now. There was one of those chairs over there and two boxes by the window. No rubbish down here, coming off my way. Saw it. There was remnants of an old sofa on there that had been cut up. Um, and here, there's a lot of rubble and rubbish. Most of it's gone. As you can see, there's one block at the back, which is fine. From when we had steps we done. Kate. Here we are. Paddling pool's empty. Needs a bit more air in it again, but I'll do that at some point. And the back, this had a load of rubbish everywhere. As you can see, it needs a bit of work before we get our shed. But uh, there's some manure and uh, that rubble. The guy said he'd come and take it later. And it's just a matter of sweeping it all up and getting rid of it, so... Yeah, needs doing, but... It's getting there. It's not better than it was. You can see there's a chair down there, because Paul was sitting down there earlier. Just trying to get some air. I will probably try and fill that up again tomorrow. Um, put some air in. A bit the bottom's not too bad, it's the top, the top's a bit. It felt really like it needed a lot of air. I don't feel like it needs it now. I don't know, maybe I'll just refill it then. Looks like I might have a storm, looks like it's gonna rain, but it's still really warm out here. I haven't, I've had two sales yesterday, I've had a sale today, and I've also had a bid on an auction that's ending today. So I'll be going to the post office on Monday. I didn't go today. And I'll be posting four items. Possibly more. Empty bottle of wine. I'll take that in. That was Paul having a drink. But it's so nice to see the garden pretty much sorted. We just need to kill off all these weeds and sort out at the top. Yay! Probably not going to be much happening today. I'm really tired. Been really sad all day because Jennifer had me up at six o'clock. It's still very warm in the bedrooms. It's close. It's cooling down, so hopefully it won't be long until it's more tolerable and sleepable. I um, didn't sleep very well last night, but hey, we'll see what happens, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Sunday night, and I haven't vlogged at all today. I'm just snackered. I am absolutely exhausted. Did the shopping. Dad came up to help me fix something that broke. Uh, Mum came up and helped. Did a bit of washing up for me. Filled up the paddling pool, and then... After lunch, Jen had a sleep, and so did I. So we haven't been in the paddling pool, but it's ready. Hopefully we'll go in it tomorrow. I have packed up my orders to post Tuesday. So it's done, I don't have to worry about it. And um, I'm going to have a quick shower, and then it'll be bedtime. I'm a bit chesty, so I'm at the doctor's tomorrow morning. It's terrible. It's just not shifting, so I've got, I've got to go see if there's anything specifically wrong with it. Uh, see what happens. I'll let you know. I might not vlog next week. I might just put a couple of videos up. Uh, I've got a Marin scrapbook to go up, so I might put that up. I'm exhausted, so I will see you soon. It's been a weird week. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!